Hello, my lovely people. I'm here. <laughs> I'm just getting settled in. And I want to talk to you tonight, my lovely, beautiful souls out there. This is your girl, Destiny. Oh, I have a video message for you tonight. We're going to talk about investing in ourselves. And listen, I'm not talking about investing in some stock, investing in some uh, trade, or investing in a stock market, or investing in some new shoes, or investing yourself in some new clothes, and things like that. My people, please. I'm talking about investing in your self, your life, putting yourself first. Stay tuned for this video message. You're about to get bam. And I'm telling you, when it hits you on the toes, you better say, ouch. This message is deep. So let's get started. Welcome again to my YouTube channel, Destiny Forever Walks. And tonight's topic is invest in yourself. Welcome, everyone. And if this is the first time that some of you have ever come on my YouTube channel, you are absolutely welcome to come in and sit with me and with my friends and subscribers and watch Destiny's videos. Listen to this message here, my people. And then you just go all over my YouTube channel. You probably find close to 800 different videos, but they're a powerful message that I have been inspired to upload on YouTube, and these messages, they are to inspire you, to encourage you, to motivate you, to inspire you, to empower you to become your best and better, better version. I want you to get that clear. They are to inspire you, motivate you, empower you, encourage you to become your best and better version of whom you were created to be. I'm getting started and I hope you're ready. My people, sit down and listen. Now I'm going to tell you the absolute truth. Now some may not agree, but my people, you have invested so much in other people's goals, in other people's dreams, all up in their business, trying to take care of everything they wanted you to take care of. And my people, it has almost left you dried up and empty. They don't suck everything out of you. Now listen, you can't go back and change the beginning. What it has happened, has happened. What it is, it is. But my people, listen. But you can start where you are and you can change the ending. People, let me say this. And I'm telling you because I, I am talking about myself when I'm talking about what I'm speaking on tonight. Being a people pleaser, I'm telling you, my people, it has sucked the life out of many of us. Destiny was, I was on the front row. I mean, I always felt like I got to be the one who took care of everything, everybody's needs. I'm always running around, making sure everybody had enough of this. And I mean, I ran myself, I mean, practically to a dead end. But it's hard, my people. And I'm telling you how, I don't care how much that you try to please people. It's never going to work because you just can't please people people. So being a people pleaser has sucked the life, I'm sure, out of many of you who have tried that, who have done that, who have been on that side of life at one point of time. It is a hard thing where you just feel used, where you feel misused, where you feel unworthy, you're not valuable because nobody never give you any any love, any cheer, or anything to inspire or encourage you, all they do is just suck everything they can get out of you. But often what happens is that you hate who you turn out to be. 
the dreams and your aspirations that you had as a child has become distant memory. The same routine you go through every day. And that routine, my people, has become your lifestyle. You have been surrounded by friends and by families or co-workers or church members or whoever these people are. You have been surrounded by them. These people who really don't appreciate you. But you, you ignore and you just keep right on trying to make sure they are taken care of at the best that you can do. And you always constantly continue to put more and more time and energy into their life than into yours. My people, this same routine, it goes on every day. And you have invested in these people's lives too much, too often. And you just don't know when to stop or even when to say no. And people giving up or losing yourself just to please others. And that's the place that you have fallen into. You don't know how to give up. But you're losing yourself. You're losing your worth. You're losing the value of your own self. And you see yourself being drained and sucked and you just don't know how to say no. Let me tell you this. Giving up and losing yourself just to please others, my people, it's not good. You're just holding on to all of those bad habits in the fear of just letting these people down. My people, you better save yourself. Destiny didn't know how to for many, many, many years. And I'm telling you, that thing took me way down to the point where I, I really began to hate the person that I had become. I was tired. I was frustrated. I felt used. I felt manipulated. I felt hoodwinked because all the people kept feelings kept saying to me, I need this. And if I did not fulfill the, the things that they expected of me, I feel like I let somebody down. I have let this person down. I have hurt this person. What they going to think of me? They going to think that I'm not good enough because I could not, you know, uh, uphold what they was expecting of me. I'm telling you, I had to learn the hard way to, I lost almost my whole entire self to nothing. Giving up and losing yourself just to please others. Please don't be like Destiny at that point of her life. Holding on to those bad habits and fear of letting others down. Having no motivation of your own people, but you have stored up so much motivation and energy for other people. And I'm telling you, I still, I told you, I've been there. I lived my whole life. That was my avenue. It became my boulevard. It became my main strip. It became my whole life platform from beginning when I was a young girl, teenager, all the way up to my adulthood. Even when I was had my children and grandchildren, I was still running around trying to take care of everything everybody needed. Dragging my little young kids all around the place to go out here and take care of this person's what they needed or what that person needed. Listen, people. Having no motivation of your own. My people, but you got so much stored up for other people. And like I said, I've been on that side of the, that, that spectrum. But I'm asked this question. How can you change this mundane life that you have allowed yourself to fall into? How can you change that vampire energy sucking life that you have been 
given over to people to drain you day in, day out. How can you change this modern life and become the person that you always wanted to be? The person that you deserve to be. People, how to stop being a people pleaser. How to turn the passion and the light back on to you. Put yourself on the stage and let the spotlight shine on you. How to do that? How to let go of people, my, I'm saying how to let go of people and things that no longer serves you. How long or how to win at life big. And when I say big, I'm saying big. Well, when people listen. I'm always here to try to make sure that I can be able to give you whatever that the creator of the universe has given to me, has placed in my spirit to share with you. I only can speak on my experiences, my stories, the things that I have lived through, that I have witnessed on my own. This is my life. And I'm sharing with you. So I hope this information can help someone who have falling into the same category, the same situations, or whatever it may be. I want to help you to get out of that. So what I'm going to do tonight, I'm going to give you the answers to these questions right now. And it's just one answer to all the questions that I just posed to you. There's only one answer, answer and I'm going to give you to it right now. So are you ready, people? Okay. The answer is so simple. You're going to say, oh, Destiny, that's all it is. Yes. But it's so deep and it's so real and it's so true and right and something we need to really practice, practice in doing ourselves. And the answer is this, my people. Listen, here we go. Invest in yourself. Well, that's it. That's it. And like I said, I'm not talking about trade, I'm not talking about stock, I'm not talking about going out and investing in something crazy or whatever. Invest in yourself. And my people, investing in yourself is the best investment that you will ever make. It will not only improve your life, my people, but it will improve the lives of all those others that are around you. And to grow as a person, people, I'm going to tell you, you truly need to invest in yourself. And your girl here is to trigger some of these things inside of you. And I'm going to give you uh, 10. 10 ways in how to invest in your life. And there's so many more, but I'm just going to get you a little start porn so you can start thinking and so you can start looking at things a little bit different and you can start looking at your life and the way you're living your life i'm going to give you a jump start with 10 ways in how to invest in yourself and number one my people take a class or attend workshops that is empowering that are powerful that are positive. Attend these workshops and these take classes. Strive to learn something new every single day. Number two, my people read. Books are all out there. Now they got ebooks. They're all on the internet. People buy books. I mean, go to the bookstores, read. And then you need to start watching your environment and everything that is around you. The people that's coming in and out of your life every single day. And then you need to listen as well. You need to listen. Pay close attention to the things around you and what people are saying. Number three, attend networking events. Join social groups that has had positive platforms. You want to be on those platforms that you can learn something, something that will empower you, something that will encourage you, something that will motivate you, inspire you, something that will help you to live your goals and dreams into the place of becoming a reality. 
to attend these networking events. Join social media clubs that are very positive, that are speaking positive, that are encouraging you to be inspired and motivated to your greater and higher self. Number four, you hire a business or a career coach. You, you hire someone to help to groom you, to prune you, to get you better, to get you that start where you can become the spotlight of the event when you walk into a room or when you walk on a platform, whatever it may be, they will notice you. Number five, start a side hustle. That's an, a side hustle. That's not a side hustle. Man, people don't tell you, you got so many things. You are so talented. You got so many goals. You got all these things. And I see them on YouTube. I see them on Facebook. People, you got so many. You take your hobbies. All your hobbies, your talents, your goals, and all those things, and you turn them into a million-dollar dynasty. Number six, prioritize self-care. And you take breaks to increase productivity. I'm going to say it again. Six, prioritize self-care. And take breaks to increase productivity productivity you want to be producing more than what you're getting because every time you get something you want it to multiply it number seven boost your health <laughs> and your wellness people you gotta start getting out there eating healthy eating you know getting a healthy diet get out there and exercise you know daily do something with your life to change your health boost your health and your wellness. People, you got to eat to live and not live to eat. Number eight, this is important. Empty out the garbage truck and all that junk that people have dumped on you. You stop going through their garbage and trying to recycle things that belong to other people. If they don't allow them to dump their junk on you. If they're dumping something on you, my people, you make sure that you get the shit out of your house. Number nine. Visit again. This is very important. I'm going to go a little deeper on this, but I, you really have to visit positive websites. The amount of time some people waste online or frivolous websites, my people, it is shocking. Amazingly shocking. Many people spend hours, they check in their Facebook and all the others, Twitter, Instagram. I mean, uh, it's so many. They are just constantly checking and updating their status. Numerous, numerous time a day reading sensational news, my people. Watching videos with no marriage on YouTube. Imagine how much time these people expend and waste per year and just imagine all the ways that valuable time it all could be spent more wisely on yourself i am not suggesting that staying in touch with your friends on facebook or on twitter or instagram or youtube it's a bad thing because it's not you just gotta make sure you're on the right platforms a platform that is positive that are motivating you that inspiring you that is helping you to grow to become your best self and your successful self. But whatever that you do, my people, I'm not saying it's bad, but you got to do it in moderation. Number 10, stop trying to win the approval of others. Stop trying to win the approval of others. Now, people, let me say, Many people worry too much about seeking the approval of others. They spend countless hours being concerned about what others think about them. They, they, they spend so many hours worrying, sitting up at night, and I mean all through the day, what they thinking of me, what they saying about me, my people, to the point of being neurotic about it. Well, it is important to be sensitive about the feelings of others, then you should not waste your time, neither your energy, trying to please everybody because you never will. Of course, apologize readily to people or to those others when you know that you have done wrong. 
but always be confident in your abilities and in your character. And the last one is number 11. Love yourself. That is the most important thing of all my people. You've got to love yourself first. This is one of the key elements of investing in yourself. Make an effort to love yourself unconditionally by using daily affirmations. My people learn to meditate, learn to get into a place of stillness, my people. And you learn to just bring yourself to that place of calmness. You got to learn to meditate, self-reflections, daily affirmations, and paying close attention to your thoughts. Paying close attention to your beliefs. Watch yourself. A person who loves himself or herself is more likely to invest in themselves and make so much better choices. So start listening what you like about yourself daily. I don't care to just take a little uh, journal every day and just write down everything that you like about yourself. And then stop trying to win the approval of others. Distance yourself from negative people, those negative energy vampires. And then learn to forgive yourself for the past mistakes. You got to let go of things that no longer serve you. Then my people, most important thing, you have to practice gratitude for all that you have. Practice gratitude because the universe loves gratitude. The more gratitude you give out, the more you receive abundance blessings from the creator, from the universe. My people, practice gratitude for all that you have. Be thankful for everything that you have. My people, you are worth it. And in closing, the effort you put into consistently investing in yourself People, it plays a large role in determining the quality of your life now and in the future. And that's it. Invest in yourself. And there are so many more other answers I could have given. So maybe I'm leaving the rest of them up to you guys. So drop in the comment section below some other ways that we can invest in ourselves. And I'm looking forward, my lovely people, to hear your answers. And I hope that you will take this seriously. It's very important. I'm out of here. And I'm going to see you. I want to see you. At the next video. <laughs> my people, I am getting my, out, my, yeah, my outro. Beat and music is almost ready, but I'm gone for now. No stay, my people. Don't forget to invest in yourself and love yourself more than anything or anyone or whatever. No mistake. Good night. <laughs>